Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn your post notification bell on so you don't miss out on any videos that I upload for my series this October. During Halloween, I normally do a series called Christopher. Well, I started it last year, so this is going to be an annual thing, but I'm being consistent with it, okay? This is the series that I do leading up to my birthday, which is Halloween. I know, I'm a Halloween baby. Zoe, you gotta get off the green screen. My dog, she she be doing whatever she wanna do. But anyways, I'm gonna be doing this Rihanna look right here. This is the Savage X Fenty fashion show that she published this year. And I wanted to recreate the look that she did. So if you are interested in seeing how I got this full look, this hair, this outfit, well, this hair, this makeup, keep watching. But as far as the outfit goes, guys, I'm saving that footage for the behind the scenes of everything that I'm gonna be doing. So um, make sure you subscribe, turn your post notification bell on so you can get notified when I upload that behind the scenes video because I'm gonna be uploading it after my series is over and my birthday is over and the shenanigans are over. Yeah, and I got ooh, these nails. These nails complement this lip so good. Rihanna have these gloves on, so I'm probably not even gonna be able to show them. But I'll be posting pictures and stuff like that on Instagram, so make sure you follow me on Instagram if you haven't already, at KillaChris. And without any further ado, let me shut up and let you watch this video. I'll see you guys over there. Hey guys, so my hair currently looks a mess because I have been switching up my hairstyle so often for the series. So don't judge me, my hair is a little dirty right now and I got a lot of product in it. So it's a little crazy. But I want to create the braids that Rihanna had and I saw that she pretty much had like braids going like crisscross across her head. So that's pretty much what I'm doing. Um, I took some Kanekalon hair that I had, some 1B hair, um, some braiding hair, and I pretty much am going to mimic the same hairstyle. Um, FYI, I'm not a braider, I'm not a professional hairstylist, so my hair is not gonna come out exactly like her hair because you know she had a professional do it. I'm, gonna, I'm basically just gonna try to do it as well as I can um, and hopefully it comes out good, okay? know per usual every time I film Zoe wants to be in the camera so she came to say hi so say hi to Zoe everybody in the comments because she knows she wants she wants her attention too okay okay so this braid came out super big and I don't know what happened but this is how the hairstyle ended up coming out um, it's not perfect, but like I said, I'm not a professional, so it is what it is. I'm doing some baby hairs real quick, as I saw that Rihanna had So this is the look we're going to be going for today with the makeup, okay? So the first thing I'm starting off with is some primer. I'm using my Scandinavia primer, and I'm going to let that sink in. And then I'm going to go in with my Milk Hydro Group primer. Now for foundation, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal True Match foundation in the shade W8 and I'm going to put that on my face so that it doesn't oxidize um, on the beauty blender and then I'm going to blend it out and then I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty concealer in number 330. This is their Pro Filter concealer. It's so crazy because I used to use this concealer a lot um, before and I I just never really liked it and now that I've used it with this L'Oreal True Match foundation I actually like how it came out like it looks super flawless um, but I'm not a fan of the Fenty foundation so yeah so for cream contour I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty truffle match stick and I'm gonna rub it on my hands and just warm it up a little bit and I'm gonna take this brush and just kind of blend it in my cheekbones to bring my cheekbones out. You guys know Rihanna has very structured cheekbones and so do I so this is like 
something we kind of have in common already so I, this is how I do my makeup anyway <laughs> um, and then I'm going to kind of put that under my chin to kind of like you know make my chin a little bit more structured as well um, I added a little bit more concealer on my chin because I needed it to be a little lighter and now I'm going in with the truffle just to kind of like you know do my nose contour and then go back in with concealer and and clean that up and then now for powder I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder which is like my favorite translucent powder I absolutely love 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 this powder and I'm gonna be setting my face all of my t-zone areas with this powder um, and then once I'm done doing that I'm going to go in with my Mac dark deep breast bronzer and this is a skin finish bronzer I'm gonna be bronzing at my face and you know bringing back back that warmth in my skin and then after I apply the bronzer then I'm gonna go in with another bronzer which is the Fenty Beauty Coco Naughty bronzer and this is a little darker than the Mac one that I had so I'm using this to deepen up and chisel up my cheekbones even more all right so now for the brows i'm going to be taking my maybelline brown liquid gel liner yes i use liner for my brows you guys i've been doing this for years and i absolutely love it um i have a video up on how to do my brows on my channel so go check that out if you're interested um, but yeah, so I'm going to be filling in my brows and then once I am finished with that, I'm going to go in with some blush and I'm taking the blush by She Makeup and next is the eye, so, or the eyes, <laughs> I'm sorry. So I'm going with this Pat McGrath Mothership Palette and the first shade I'm using is Entrapment and I'm just going to use that as a transition color and the next shade I'm using is called Disobedient and this is going to be a crease color to darken my crease a little bit. I saw that Rihanna had a little darker crease, a little purplish in, the, in her lid. Um, and then she also had gold on her eyelid, on the eyelid. So I'm going to be using the uh, Disobedient color to kind of deepen, you know, the crease. And then I'm going to go in with the shade, mm -hmm -hmm. it's going to pop up on the screen any second. Bronze Blaze is the shade and I'm going to be using my finger to apply this. I feel like the pat shadows, they just come out better with your finger sometimes on your lid. So I use it on my lid and I did some nasty stuff just now. Y'all saw me. <laughs> I ain't low. And I pretty much just um, use a little bit of saliva and just use the brush and put it on my lid to pack the color on. And the pigment comes out so much better like that. Thank me later. Okay, don't judge me. Um, and then I, I just pretty much just went in with a lower lash color, a purple shade. And now I'm going in with a the purple shade from the palette. I can't remember the name, but the purple shade from the palette. I'm going to be going in with that on my lower lash. Astro Luna Gold. Such a unique name, but this is the name of the shadow. I'm going to be putting my inner tear duct. And then I'm going to be going in with the, some mascara and some lashes. And these are the Little Mama X INB lashes in KPE01. If you're interested in getting those, they're bomb. I love them so much. And they go on so easy. Alright, so now for my lips, I'm going to be going in with the shade Prune from NYX Cosmetics. And I'm using their lip liner to apply that. I just kind of needed a purple color to kind of complement that purple that we're going to be putting on our lips, but this one wasn't as dark as I wanted it to be, so I ended up going in with the Kat Von D um, Liquid Lip Stick in Damage, and then once I lined my lips with this, then I kind of went and applied the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in Undefeated in the middle. absolutely loved how this look came out like it came out so so good um, and now I'm just adding some highlighter and some setting spray on my skin and then I'm gonna take my hair out and I'm gonna talk to you guys over the next clip <laughs> you guys so I ended up going off camera well I went on another camera <laughs> and um, I decided that I wanted to film the behind the scenes Zoe Come here. Come here. 
So I went on another camera, my vlogging camera, and I started vlogging the how to how I got this 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 whole outfit. Okay, you guys see Rihanna has on a um, a top just like this, and with the scruffles, she has on like a leather um, garter shorts kind of thing and a belt. I didn't really do all that. I just got a regular garter with that lace that was lace, and then I got like the stockings to pull up. But um, I explain everything like that on my vlog, so make sure you subscribe and you turn your post notification bell on so you see that video. I'm going to be uploading that video more than likely after my series is over, so I'm excited about that because you guys get to see the whole behind the scenes, like all the trouble I'd be going through, all the hard work I really have been putting into the series. So um, stay tuned for that. Let me know in the comments below how you guys like this series i absolutely i'm loving how it's going so far i'm not gonna lie let me know which one is your favorite so far and i will see you guys in my next video i'm gonna be doing the the, the most epic one of them all tomorrow so i'm really excited about that so stay tuned and i'll see you guys in my next video bye y'all